Hello and welcome back to the Nasty Metal Production Channel here at YouTube and welcome to another Friday review. Today I am finally here to review All Hells Breaking Loose, the brand spanking new 15th album from the new wave of British heavy metal lunatics, Raven. Released on June 30th via Silver Lining Music, their debut on the label, by the way. So, without further ado, let's begin. Now, before I get into giving my thoughts on All Hells Breaking Loose, you know what I have to do. I have to do a trackless rundown so I can tell you folks what are the songs that are on this album how many tracks that are on this album, and what is the time length for this album. Since this album consists a total of 10 tracks, it clocks in at the length of 37 minutes and 21 seconds. So, these 10 tracks are of course beginning with Medieval, then of course in 2, Surf the Tsunami, Turn of the Screw, then the title track, then the far side, then on to Desperate Measures, Victory's Call, Edge of a Nightmare, Invasion, and then finally ending with Go for the Gold. So there you go, folks. There's your 10 tracks. Since I'm going to be reviewing a brand new Raven album, I have to make sure that I get you guys all going. Yeah! Get in the spirit of this shit, huh? <laughs> uh, all hell's breaking loose indeed. Okay. Well, I'll be damned. Here I thought Raven couldn't possibly outdo Metal City since it was some of their most strongest material in over years. At least that how I that's how I felt. And I think some too. But boy, was I proven wrong. All hells breaking loose indeed. Never underestimate the power of Raven. Not only did they wipe the floor with their previous album, but they went above and beyond with this album, to where I feel that this may be one of Raven's best work since their glory days. Right from the get-go, you are smack dab with the opening track, Medieval, which shows no mercy and takes no prisoners. And with that, sets the tone for what you are in for, which at times is something you may not have been prepared for, which should always be the motto for every Raven record that comes out. Everything is fast, or faster, than everything else. Both John and Mark Gallagher are in their 60s, and they sound like they are still out to prove something with this album. John sounds as if he hasn't skipped a beat. His voice is practically ageless, and I'll vouch for that after catching them on the Wiped Out 40th Anniversary Tour at Strummer's here in Fresno uh, back in, uh, was it, pretty much the end of September last year. But as awesome as it is that both Mark and John are pretty much playing at such a high level here, and especially for these days, this wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for drummer Mike Heller joining, who had become their permanent drummer after Joe Hasselvander, who had to step away due to health reasons. Not only was it a blessing, but Mike has brought in so much inspiration that it has reinvigorated these legendary lads, and this album is proof. This album wouldn't have come out this quickly if it wasn't for Mike Heller's creative mindset, of course, there was the pandemic. Let's uh, put that aside. He pretty much kicked these guys into gear with this. Uh, and I, I gotta also put this out as well. 
is that Metal City, especially after listening to this album, just felt like the beginning. And everything just culminated with this one right here. They... Like I was just saying is that he pretty much kicked these guys into gear with this to where they knew they had something special with this album. Some of these songs were a work in progress for quite some time now, at times even longer, and I'll get to those. For instances, Surf the Tsunami and The Far Side. Both these two songs were in development since Metal City. Surf the Tsunami, the second song to be released before the album, you know, the, the album's release, ah, was Heller's song idea, well, I, basically his idea and everything, that was scrapped but got revisited to then being finished for this album. Then there is The Far Side. At times, one of the least craziest songs here, but yet it's equally just as heavy and, in, and it's an infectious number. Was an idea between both Mark and John that was half written but was then completed when doing this album. Uh, it, it's a great freaking uh, track to begin with. Uh, one of my personal favorites off of here. Uh, then there is Desperate Measures, which is straight up prime Raven lunacy. The initial start of this song's writing date, you know, the, the song's writing date and everything, all the way, it, it goes all the way back to the 2000s, uh, just to word everything better there. Uh, it was never finished, until Mike Heller heard it, and thus the song was finished. As I was doing my homework for this review, uh, of course, watching the track-by-track -track commentary videos uh, that Raven did for their YouTube channel, and pretty much got the gist that Mike Heller had a lot of input going into this album. Same can be said for Invasion, which is the only song on the album to not be played at full speed ahead like the others here, uh, save for the middle half. Mike was originally not impressed, but Mark and John did their best, and I mean they did their best, and went and pretty much redid and, and did a, just added a whole lot of changes to this track, to which where Mike eventually was sold, and I will say at first that this song didn't immediately cook with me on the first listen, but as I kept listening to this album, and especially when it came to this track, it then finally clicked with me. And now I think it's one of their finest songs, or at least one of the finest songs to be featured on here. The same can be said for Victory's Call, a blazing track that is built on melodies almost bordering on power metal at times. Uh, this was the reverse for Mike. Uh, for I think in comparison to Invasion where... Again, the, the members of most, you know, Mark and John were into the track, but Mike wasn't completely until they had the, the to, of course, switch it around and change it up to where uh, for, or Mike would end up being at least sold on the song. For Victory's Call here, John came up with this and Mark thought it was okay, but Mike heard it and was instantly into it. With and with his ideas for how the drumming goes, it convinced him, and thus here it is. It is quite amazing how much Mike Heller has brought to the table here that has lit a brand new fire under their ass. There are just so many other great songs that I like. Uh, Edge of a Nightmare is great. Again, those killer riffs from Mark. Turn of the Screw, which reminds me of the Neat Records period. Uh, then, of course, the title track is killer, and, of course, the album closer, Go For The Gold, which takes its uh, inspiration from a story about Mark and John's days as school gym swimmers. I'm not going to recite the whole story. You can go watch the commentary video for this one on their YouTube channel, but it's a funny little story. Raven, they just knocked it out of the park here. I am just completely blown away. What a fantastic record from these guys. And there you go, folks. There's my overall thoughts on the brand new 15th album from Raven. Again, all hell's breaking loose. My rating, 
10 out of 10. This is definitely another 10 out of... Oh my god, I can't even speak well because of... I am just in awe over how fantastic this album turned out uh, for, for these guys. You know, I am just so surprised. So, yes, this is a 10 out of 10 album. And one of the many uh, albums that I've reviewed on this channel where I've actually given a 10 out of 10. That was rare, I think, for last year and a couple of years before. Something about 2023 seems to have somehow... Not only did Mike Keller or, or whatever lit a fire under Raven's ass, but I think in general you can say that something in 2023 lit a fire under almost everyone's ass. Uh, just both creatively and musically to where I think there have just been so many great albums that I think are gonna become I think timeless albums for me personally you know if it's timeless for me then that's all that matters you know and this is unbelievable but yeah Raven I think came back with an album that I think is much stronger and again I loved Metal City I thought it was a really good album I gave that one I believe a 10 out of 10 and here it is, but yet I probably would not give that album a 10 out of 10 now after listening to this. Something about this one just feels even stronger. It feels like the, the creative juices were just even more uh, on point with this album. Like, the, it's just, holy shit, you know, the, the their heads and everything was on completely on fire and shit. You know, you can't really take these guys for, for advantage or whatever, you know. You, they, they, it is... It is really amazing for, for the age that both these two guys, again, Mark and John, you know, for the age of the, that they are in. This is something that not everybody would expect a lot of these classic bands, you know, to be playing at. You know, most of everyone that are usually legacy bands or... And it, yet here's both Mark and John proving that, again, age is just a number. It is just a number and it doesn't really re reflect their... Just their overall intensity, their endurance, and all, and all of that. It doesn't really affect that. Age is just a number, and these guys are obviously going to prove that. And they are proving that with this album. It is so br amazing in its own right. That, that That's the best I can say. Amazing. So, this album, of course, has been out since June 30th. Again, almost over a week. For anyone who has already checked out All Hell's Breaking Loose, if you have any thoughts, whether they are positive or negative, you can leave them in the comments section below. But if you have yet to check out All Hell's Breaking Loose and are still on the fence whether or not you really want to give out, you know, if you haven't followed Raven for, for so many years and you're kind of on the fence on whether or not this is a good album to check out or at least where you want, want to start with, with getting back into Raven to some extent or just want to hear what they have been up to, go and get this. Pick this up. I think this is very much worth all of your time. So, there it is. I hope all of you enjoyed. This is Heavy Thrasher saying I'm out, and I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.